Rita, it's pizza time. I've been looking forward to this all week. I couldn't agree more, Lokesh. There's something about pizza that just makes any day better. So true. What's your all-time favorite pizza topping, Rita? You can't go wrong with a classic margarita, the simplicity of tomato, mozzarella, and basil. It's like a flavor hug. Classic choices are always a winner. I'm more of a pepperoni person myself. The combination of spicy pepperoni and melted cheese is irresistible. We might need to agree to disagree on that one, Lokesh. Do you like to experiment with unusual toppings sometimes, Rita? Definitely, Lokesh. I once tried a pizza with fig, prosciutto, and arugula. It was a flavor explosion. That sounds like a gourmet pizza. I'm more of a traditionalist, but I'm tempted to try something new now. Variety is the spice of life, right? Absolutely. It's amazing how a simple dish like pizza can be a canvas for so many flavors. And it brings people together. I've had some of the best conversations over a pizza. Remember that time we ordered a pizza and stayed up all night solving puzzles? How could I forget? Pizza and brain teasers, that was a great night. Rita, do you have a favorite pizza place in town? There's a little family-owned pizzeria a few blocks from here. Their wood-fired pizzas are a game-changer. We'll have to go there next time. I'm always up for discovering new pizza spots. Count me in, Lokesh. It's a pizza adventure waiting to happen. Lokesh, you know, there's something special about the aroma of a freshly baked pizza. Oh, absolutely. It's like a warm hug for your senses. And when the cheese melts and stretches as you pull a slice, it's like a little piece of happiness. You have a way with words, Rita. You should be a pizza poet. I'd be the happiest pizza poet ever. What's your favorite pizza crust, Lokesh? I'm a thin crust guy. I love how it's crispy and lets the toppings shine. Thin crust is great for savoring the flavors. But I can't resist a good stuffed crust every now and then. Stuffed crust is like a surprise waiting at the end of each slice. I can't argue with that. Speaking of surprises, have you ever tried a dessert pizza? You read my mind. Nutella pizza with strawberries is my guilty pleasure. Nutella and strawberries are a match made in dessert heaven. Rita, have you ever made pizza from scratch at home? I used to make homemade pizza with my family as a kid. 
It was messy, but it was a lot of fun. That sounds like a lovely family tradition. We should make pizzas together sometime. That's a fantastic idea, Lokesh. Homemade pizzas are the best. You know, Rita, pizza has a universal appeal. It's comfort food for people all around the world. It's true, Lokesh. No matter where you go, you can find a slice of happiness in a pizza. To the world's most beloved dish, and to many more pizza adventures. Cheers, Lokesh. May our love for pizza continue to grow. Rita, do you know the history of pizza? It's a fascinating tale. I've heard bits and pieces. Tell me more, Lokesh. Well, pizza's roots trace back to ancient civilizations. The Greeks made flatbreads with toppings like olive oil and local spices. I didn't know the Greeks were the pizza pioneers. They were the early pizza creators, but it was the Italians who really perfected it. In Naples, they added tomatoes in the 18th century, creating the margarita pizza, named after Queen Margarita. So, tomatoes made the difference. Exactly! The tomato, along with mozzarella cheese, basil, and a thin, crispy crust, created a winning formula. I can't imagine a world without pizza now. It would be a much sadder world, for sure. And what's the most exotic pizza you've ever heard of, Lokesh? I once read about a pizza with gold flakes and caviar. It's more like a work of art than food. That's extravagant. I think I'll stick with my margarita. Good choice. It's the classics that never fail. Lokesh, you make history and food so interesting. Learning about the origins of dishes adds a whole new layer to our appreciation, don't you think? It does. It's like understanding the cultural roots of a dish adds extra flavor to it. So, it's about starting with great ingredients. Exactly! And then there's the cooking method. A wood-fired oven, for instance, can give that perfect char and smoky flavor. You really are a pizza connoisseur, Lokesh. I might have a bit of a pizza obsession. Lokesh. Do you have a go-to pizza place for your pizza cravings? I do, Rita. There's this little family-owned pizzeria not far from here. Their margarita is out of this world. We should definitely go there sometime. I'm up for that. Great pizza is meant to be shared. You know, Lokesh, it's not just the food. 
It's the company and the conversations that make a pizza truly special. You're absolutely right, Rita. Some of the best memories are made over a slice of pizza. Cheers to more pizza-filled memories, Lokesh. To friendship, pizza, and the perfect balance. Cheers to that, Lokesh. May our pizza adventures never end.